everyone, I'm Jace and today I will be talking about how I manage to minimize my pores. So having oily dehydrated skin, pores have always been a problem for me because they were always visible, especially around my cheek area. But I wanted to share you some tips that I could give on how to minimize the appearance of your pores and these tips are what really worked for me. So let's get started! Now the first tip I want to give you is that you should regularly exfoliate. Now exfoliation really cleans your skin thoroughly and also gets rid of dead skin cells which could clog your pores and make them seem bigger. Now if you watch a lot of skincare videos, you would know that there is physical and chemical exfoliation. And I have noticed that a lot more people talk about chemical exfoliation nowadays. But when my skin feels a little too sensitive for that, I do like to stick to manual exfoliation. And here I could share with you the Skin Food Rise Mask Wash Off. So this is a wash off mask. You just massage it on your face and wash it off after some time. And I really like it because it's gentle and generally my face feels a lot brighter and tighter after usage. Not the tight that hurts, but generally you could see that my pores would be minimized and my face just gives a nice glow, which I really like. Now the next tip that I would give is to avoid products that say that they will minimize your pores by tightening them. Now I say this because I've tried these before and one of these products is the Bioessence BioLite Gel Toner. I actually mentioned this in a video already so that you could check it in the description box or I will link it above. This toner actually tightens my skin upon drying and that does make my pores seem smaller but I notice that it's hard for my moisturizer and even sunblock to really sink in my skin which is why I only use it in the morning so that I don't have to layer too much products after but yeah tighten the pores make it harder for your skin to absorb other skincare and that just leaves all of those skincare and makeup on your face and that could actually clog your pores so yeah that's my personal tip I just don't go for pore tightening products anymore Now, the most important tip that I could share with you is to keep your skin hydrated. Now, as you may know, dehydrated skin could produce more oil, and more oil could make your pores seem larger and could also clog them. So, I recommend that you use hydrating products and that you also keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. And by that, I mean, I think you should limit the usage of your oil strips. Now, I know oil strips are handy and great to have on hand, I actually do recommend using them, especially if your face feels shiny in the middle of the day. But I would recommend that you avoid using them when your skin isn't really that shiny. I would recommend a facial mist instead because it does keep your skin more hydrated. And if you use oil strips too much, your skin could get dehydrated as it gets a lot of oil from your face and your skin would think that it should produce more. Now last but definitely not the least, you could blur your pores by using makeup. And when using makeup, I do recommend that you use a primer. So here I have the Vanilla Co Prime Primer in matte. It's the only primer that I use. And I really like it because it keeps my skin smooth. So when I apply makeup, it becomes easier. And I have noticed that my pores are a lot less seen when a primer is used. And I guess more importantly, primers keep your makeup on longer. So in the middle of the day, I would have to retouch less. Retouching could just squish the dirt in your face because if you don't pat your skin down with an oil strip or something, the dirt could stay on your face and you'd just be putting more makeup on it. And that is really bad for your pores. It could really clog them. So yeah, primer makes a lot of differences in your makeup and it is something that I would really recommend. So that's it. I have shared with you the four ways that I like to minimize my pores. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you found it helpful. If you have any other ways that you could blur out your pores, I would like to see them down in the comments. And if you want to see me make more videos, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when I make a new one. I hope you all have a nice day and I hope to see my next video. Bye!